I'm Shannon Heaton. I sing and play Irish flute and accordion and whistles, and I also do a lot of composing. I've composed for big string ensembles, string quartets, kids, but my favorite context for composing is in the duo with my husband, Matt. And whether I'm writing something from scratch or adapting a traditional ballad, my goal is for there to be this timeless traditional quality to it. I might have an unusual stop or a melodic gesture that is a little more modern, but at the end of the day, um, while I do want it to feel fresh, I don't want to stray so far from that pure Irish sound that things don't hang together. Um, I really want my music to work alongside Irish ballads that are 400 years old. Our charms invited me on to stay. All of my favorite artists seem to come from some tradition or another, whether it's a bluegrass band or a Brazilian guitar player. There's a real quality to roots-based music, to music that comes from a living tradition that uplifts and transports me every time. I'm Matt Heaton, and I play guitar and bazooki. And as an accompanist in Irish music, I always try to make my parts as interesting as I can without ever overshadowing the melody. I always want to make it better with me than it would be without, but uh, never draw too much attention away from the, from the main focus. Growing up, I've, I've listened to a lot of different styles of guitar playing, and I think that that comes out in my own playing mostly in terms of the, the chord voicings that I use. I'm, I'm really drawn to sort of sparse chords and chords with a few extra notes in them that you might not expect. I think it, I like the sound of those crunchy chords that uh, uh, just give you a little, a little unexpected texture for the, for the tune to go over. You know, Matt and Shannon Heaton really epitomize the new way to play traditional music and sing traditional songs today. You're taking the core traditional material itself, the reels and jigs and the hornpipes and the songs, and you're wrapping it, if you will, in new clothing. And that is just an innovative approach to guitar accompaniment, to harmonies, to rhythms and styles. Oh, the clouds go dark. that makes it very, very accessible and very, very exciting for audiences anywhere in the world. He struck the top mast with his hand and the foremast with it. Matt and Shannon Heaton arrived here uh, quite a number of years ago, it seems now. In fact, I've almost forgotten, most people have forgotten that they weren't here all of their lives because they have become such an intrinsic part of this community. It is exciting to be in Boston, and before this in Chicago, two cities with a very incredible history of preserving Irish traditional tunes and songs. You have to look back at the history of Boston, of course, as a destination for so many immigrants uh, fleeing from Ireland uh, from the 1850s on, many of them bringing their own musical traditions. And that in turn has left a legacy here in Boston as being the epicenter of Irish traditional music. Yeah, Chicago was home to Francis O'Neill, who was the chief of police around the early 1900s, but more notably for, for Irish musicians, he was a great tune collector, and he published several collections of traditional Irish music, which really, if it, if it weren't for them, a lot of these tunes probably would have, would have died off and been forgotten. <laughs> Of course, there are just untold numbers of, of ballads which came from the British Isles to the Appalachian Mountains and have made trips back and forth on both sides of the ocean, and the songs have just been permanently altered on, on either version. Yeah, after a while, it really does transcend nations. It becomes this global, living music. I love this exchange. It's never-ending. The palace is hung on their shoulders, so careless they seem for to ride. Like appeared this young soldier, his glittering sword by his side. To the barracks next morning so early, this damsel she went in a car. Because she loved him sincerely, Edward a gallant to saw. 
It's, it's humbling and it's challenging to be a part of a tradition that is so much older and bigger than you'll ever be. I mean, you, you can work your whole life to inhabit a music and to really get inside of it. And as Americans coming to Irish music, we've received a, a lot of support and encouragement from other players. And that just makes me want to get better and better to keep drawing from this, this well of music and knowledge. It's also really rewarding to make connections between Irish tunes and American folk music. Lots of Irish bands are doing this right now, trying to get that rooty twang and those high lonesome harmonies into their band sound. And it's really fun to be able to bring in those moves that are authentic to us as American musicians. I mean, I even weave in a few Thai traditional songs into our set, songs that I learned as a kid while living in Thailand. And, you know, it's interesting, uh, Thai traditional music and Irish traditional singing do share stylistic elements. The Shannos Irish style of singing is very melismatic as is Thai traditional singing. To seek for past times I took But whether it's an old Thai song or an East Clare reel or an original composition, I guess my goal at the end of the day is to have the music take me somewhere and then bring me back to something that's strong and deep and something too that's very authentic to where we're coming from. I said, my darling, you will find I love Dreams when the cocks 